By pressing the bell icon, you'll receive all my new videos, and a press on the thumbs up would be much appreciated. What day is it? Sunday, the 25th. I have no idea. I, I think it's only really 25th, 26th. Something like that. Uh, this is my first trip of the year. I don't think it's going to be exactly what I thought. Originally it was going to be a wild camp, maybe a two night wild camp, or a one night wild camp and then a, a camp here, but it might just be a... We might just camp here for the two nights and just go walks. Sinclair's done his back in, so he's not able to carry a rucksack. Uh, Julie's still recovering for an op. So... I mean, Mark can still go, except I've not got the, <laughs> I've no uh, got the right food for for the stove I've got. Uh, I've got a jet boil, or sort of wind burner. I've got an MSR wind burner, and and I heard uh, Sinclair and Julie when they sort of going a wild camp. I went out and I got food for for that sort of situation, forgetting that I've I've no got a proper stove or a stove that you can cook and food, really. I've got a, a wind burner. Anyway, just happy to get out after two months. Right. We're heading down to the river. There's Julie. Yeah. Let's have a look at this. One can. Is that a G or Gat Gatenby? And Katie Todd accidentally drowned 16th of October 1927. One Catenby and Katie Todd. It's at 193 years ago. Is that right? 80, <laughs> 93 years ago, I think. Four thirty PM. It's definitely been a temperature drop the last thirty minutes. That's the cold coming in. 
it's forecast for heavy snow. Well, snow, heavy snow tonight. So we'll see what happens there. Could walk up, we could wake up and uh, it could look a bit different, but we'll see what happens. Six o'clock. That's where I'm pitched. Over here. Hey. Get the camera on, Mark. Behave yourself. Camera on. <laughs> camera on. That's where Mark camped. <laughs> the boogeyman. There's the there's Maggie over here. What are you talking about me? Again? Saint Clair and Juliet. We've got a fire, but it's not an open fire. It's a pit. So we're okay. We've got a fire pit. It's an enclosed fire. It's an enclosed fire. There you go. We're having a wee, a wee can. So we're going to get our uh, pasta meal pretty soon. So that's. That's where we are. Yeah. I won't be calling this a wild camp. It's a nice... It's a nice little spot. There's a lot of walks from here, so... We'll be getting some walks done tomorrow. And the snow, I think the snow's just starting. The predicted snow. And there's the fire pit. There you go, folks. Great stuff. Incredible stuff. <laughs> ah, it'll go. It That's has fun. Let's just drain the wood out. Scott's Wild Camper. The wild camping channel for the great outdoors. Morning, folks. 9.05 a.m. That's me just out the tent. Had an early night, a very early night for me. Uh, 10 p.m. We were retired. We had a good... We had plenty to eat and a, a few drinks. And we had a wee fire, as you've seen, with the... The... what do you call it? Pit, fire pit. We had a fire pit on the on the concrete so there's no damage done. You're not allowed fires, open fires here. So uh, I think you that's you should uh, follow that rule. No open fires. So if you're gonna have a fire you need to have a fire pit. So anyway it did snow as you can see. It's a wee bit different for yesterday. I don't know when the snow started. We were, well, I was in the tent. It's a beautiful uh, night sky we got as well. Uh, very clear, fantastic. I saw three, three shooting stars. That's the most I've seen for a while. Fantastic. You just make out the Milky Way, but it wasn't, it wasn't a, it wasn't a, a strong uh, image of the Milky Way, but we could, you know. You can certainly see it, make it out. There's a motor. Right, I better get off the road eh? In case it's coming up here. I'm having a, having a withero. A withero. Right, a cup of tea is the next thing I think I'll have. Right, there's a way that way. Right, I'll see. I'm going to take you to the camp spot, but it's just a kit. We're in the the car park, so so not a wild camp. I, I don't I don't think I'll be going a wild camp. I just I think I'll probably just stay here and we'll go a couple of walks. I said last uh, yeah uh, start again. Eh? I don't think I'll be going, uh, some... 
I think I'll be going away Wild Camp. Uh, as I said yesterday, Sinclair and Julie are, well, Julie's just recovering from an operation, a major operation. Sinclair's done his back in. So, I'm just happy staying here. It's just good to get out. <coughs> That's the first camp, or first time I've been out for about two months. And then after this, I've got another long stint of work. I don't think I'll get out again for about four weeks. So, I'm not going to be out very much up until March, April. That's when my... I think that's when my wild camp will start, really. Just to... Just the way it worked out this year. People going on holiday. And I need to, I need to cover. So, that's it. Anyway... Still... Still great to get out, and that's it. Even if it's not a wild camp or a, a proper hike, it's just good to be out. Just a quick look at the gorge again, a wee bit of snow, right I'm up for a cup of tea now, I might uh, come down later on with my, my big camera, uh, that's enough for now. Too close, yeah. There's Mark getting up. It's been snowing! Hi, good sleep eh? No? No, I kept waking up about every hour, hour and a half. Well, I was drifting. I'm a usual drifting in and out. That's my normal sleep pattern, so it's just... Aye. I was all right. It's just... I'm sitting listening to the snow. Snow the most of the night, because... It first started, and... Sitting listening to it for about half an hour. I so, hey, look out. It's just all melting. Yeah. I said, ah, it's not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's cool. And then it got heavy. Aye. And then it was like, I woke up. I'll make myself a coffee. And I was like, oh, fucking hell, I've left my water in the car. Right. <laughs> so I'm running out to the car in the boxer shorts. And it was blowing a blizzard. <laughs> I, I heard like, the door, I heard the car door. Yeah. But well, anyway, it's okay. But it was cosy. Yeah. Aye. Oh, it was really cosy. I ended up stripping off. Alright. Snow flow. Julie's up. <laughs> That's it. Right. Bacon can roll. I think Julie's cooking eggs and bacon as well. So we're having breakfast. And so is the big Robin. He's a healthy, uh, he's a heavy one. He's eating the butter, which is good for him. Yeah. He's eating some bread roll. Yeah. Yeah. Has he? He the, uh... That's us away for a wee, a wee walk. Yes, a couple of hours we'll be. Uh, walking. We've got a stove and a kettle and tea bags and biscuits and oranges and <laughs> stuff like that. Have a wee cup of tea and a wee 
uh, bite tea, at least not in the woods. Yeah. I'll let you have a wee look around. There's not much to see at the moment except trees that a lot of people like. I like looking at trees. <laughs> A little viewpoint. Pine woods and people. And there's the view. That's the view. Ooh, slap. Came from there, I think that takes you back to the, you're just heading back to the car park for there. So, we're heading further out of course, that was only 10 minute walk, so we'll walk out for about an hour I guess. Sun's out. Had to video that tree. What's left of it? I'm sure this is the path to Derry Lodge. I think it's 30 minutes in the bike and it'll be two hours hike. That's what they say anyway. So it's a nice easy Nice easy walking conditions, it's a path, I don't know if the path goes the whole way, I think it does, I'm not sure, I might get this done one day, get up here, back up here and hike, hike right out, way past the Derry Lodge. Something wrong with this memory card that keeps seeing error on data. Isn't Scotland beautiful? It's a beautiful country. Let's keep it that way, eh? And there's Dairy Lodge. There's the first proper glimpse of Dairy Lodge. And the snow's coming in, as you can see. Yeah, this might be a wee bit of, this might be a heavier slurry. I 
I think the light will be okay. I've got my head torch. I don't think, uh, no. I know Julian St. Clair, I just asked him. They've not got a head torch, but uh, I don't know about Mark, but I've got a head torch. I've never broke my spare batteries, which I always, I always take spare batteries, and that's a good idea. Get your head torch and spare batteries, but I didn't realise we were, it was, we were going to walk out to Derry Lodge, to be honest, but anyway, it's a path, literally a path all the way, so don't think we'll get lost this time. There it is. I'll see what I can find out in Google about Derry Lodge and I'll put it up on screen there. Eh? A wee bit of information. I think that's uh, Bob Scott's bothy, Julie was telling me. Nice locale, eh? Nice location. There's the mountains up there. There you go. Julie's been mother again, certain as it, haven't you, Julie? Uh, Julie's been the. Coffee and cake. Yes. Lemon drizzle. Lemon drizzle. And a Jaffa cake. I don't want to forget him. Well, what's him for again? Yeah, I keep forgetting how good Chris is. Hi. He's going to get enough in a packet nowadays. No, it's true. I know it's shocking though, might be dead. Lovely jubbly. Have you more that way, as you saw in the sign by the Larry Grew, which I've done a wee bit of the Larry Grew. Another sign. There's that Loch Morley. There you go. That's that away. That's us. We're heading down to the car park. Half four. So I think that was. Uh, four hours, three and a half, four hours. I never really checked. That was a good, a good wee walk. Really, it was a proper hike. I would say that 
there and back certainly. Uh, so that's a wee recce. So I'll be back. I don't know who with Mark or Saint Clair or Julie or whoever, but I uh, fancy coming back here and hiking along along there and much further up, another seven miles I think to the Loch Loch Etchikin or even to McDewey. I think I would do that, that'd be a two nighter I think. For me anyway. I think I would do that over two nights. Two night camp, get Ben McDewey done. That's the second highest mountain in in Britain. It used to be the highest I think. Well they used to think it was the highest before they properly measured uh, the windrows in the mountains in Scotland and then they found Ben Nevis was higher. Tuesday morning, last day of the trip. I didn't take any night footage last night because I was a, a wee bit ill, so I couldn't be bothered. It's a beautiful night sky again, so I think I need to try and learn a wee bit of night photography. I think I've been saying that for a while, but I think I should. I've been going to all these good places and seeing these beautiful night skies, so I should try and uh, get some video done. I wonder what that was. It's a van, another van. Is that a trailer? Hope he's not coming in here, is he? God's law. He's coming heading this way. Right. <laughs> yes, so it's law. You stand in the road and <laughs> a deserted road and a uh, car comes. Hey, hey, there you go, an action shot, bit of action shot. Yeah. So what was I saying? Yeah, night photography. I'll try and learn some of that. Here comes a... I think here comes a snow plough. Right, we'll head down this way before I get run over. Traffic here is terrible. <laughs> that people coming in. Right. Let's have a look at these. No parking, no fires. Control your dog. Ah, this is more interesting. There you go. Rights of way to Cobra, Aviemore, Glendee, Arigru. Well, you can read that yourself. Take care, you're entering demanding and potentially dangerous mountain country. So maybe this is the way to go if you want a you've got your adventure. Right, now where was I? I've lost my I've lost my train of thought. Ah, this will be my last well this is, my, this is the first trip of the year. And it's gonna be my last for a while. I think I'm four weeks, five weeks I should get out again. So my year's not gonna start. My wild camping year's not really gonna start until March. So I think I'll leave the videos. So you'll be watching this, this is the end of April, so it'll maybe the, sorry, this is the end of February. So maybe April before I, 
put a video up. I should have maybe three, hopefully three or four to upload by then. Right, that's enough rubbish. Yeah, smile you're on candid camera. <laughs> right. That'll wake everybody up. Yeah. Lovely by the way. 